Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the disk not initialized problem you are experiencing on your Windows computer. This should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Just go ahead and left click on the Start button one time. Type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. You want to go right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. Now into the command prompt, you want to type in disk part, so D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T, all one word. Hit enter on your keyboard to run the disk partition utility. Now you want to type in list, so L-I-S-T, disk. D-I-S-K, so you want to do a space between list and disk. So list and then disk, D-I-S-K, not D-I-S-C. Very important there, you just want to make sure you spell it correctly. Hit enter on your keyboard. So now if you had multiple disk listed in here, so I only have one hard drive listed in here, but you're going to be selecting the drive you're having the issue with. So let's just say you're having an issue with drive 1, but I don't have drive 1, so I'm going to just select my main hard drive here, which you're not going to do but it's the same steps will apply so just type in select disk and then type in whatever number disk you want to select and now you want to go type in clean once you're done with clean it should say this part successfully clean the disk next one you would type in would be create partition primary exactly as it appears on my screen. So again, create partition primary. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should take this part succeeded in creating the specified partition. And finally, you just would type in active, so A-C-T-I-V-E. Hit enter on your keyboard. This partition should mark the drive as active. And then once you're done with that, you are going to be going ahead and formatting the drive. So again, we're not going to do this in our case since we don't have multiple drives in here and you would have selected a drive other than your main hard drive for the first step underneath select disk but everything else you can see here should be working you know flawlessly basically and you would just type in the final thing here would be format space fs equals so don't spell out equals just do the equal sign type in ntfs space quick so we're formatting into the ntfs file system type there so again, format space fs equals ntfs space quick. Hit enter on your keyboard. Again, you're not going to be able to format it in our case here, but it should be able to work in your case. So close out of here. Restore your computer. Hopefully that would have been able to work, and everything should be resolved at that point. You can also try removing the CMOS battery as well from your laptop. So if you just want to take out the battery and then pop it back in, and then put it back in. You're welcome to try that as well. You can also try checking for updated drivers as well through Device Manager. So just giving you guys a few different options here to play around with. But I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.